We called the Honolulu Zoo operators, the new director, who's our director now, as well as the Honolulu Zoo Society, to really clarify some of these issues and to see what we can do as a city council to help them to move forward. There were four priorities mentioned that day that need to be worked on, and one was to ensure that the animals are well cared for. And for them to be well cared for, we would have to fully fund the zoo, which the council has in this last budget. And next was to stabilize the staff. And uh, the administration has done that by designating our new director, and we hope that he stays, and we hope that we're providing him the support that we need. And I'm, again, to receive our AZA accreditation that is still being worked on today and in a rushed fashion because of all the deterioration of what's happening at the zoo. And of course to rebuild the relationship with the Honolulu Zoo Society, which we have. And I'm very proud uh, that thanks to Councilmember Ozawa of the district that a working group has been formed with the director, with the zoo society, and the leaders of the Honolulu Zoo to ensure that we're never in this situation again. A couple of concerns were raised uh, at this particular meeting for us to uh, move forward and help them to achieve these goals, and that was that the communication issues with the Zuzu societies um, re really they thought was because of the multiple directors, and we think we solved that, that issue. Uh, sadly, because of the deterioration of the zoo, the attendance uh, has been experiencing a steady decline, and so it also raised red flags that we must do something at the council. And the biggest um, suggestion that was given at that meeting was that there aren't enough fundraising opportunities for the zoo um, because of current laws and regulations. And that is what we are addressing today. I think many of us are realizing as we lead here in the council that um, it is becoming more and more expensive for the city to continue to provide the services that our residents want. So we have to start looking at other revenue streams other than property taxes to ensure that we can continue to run the, the, the city and economy of Honolulu in a proper way. Uh, during the discussions of the bill, uh, we met with so many people, Department of Enterprise Services, the Zoo Society, many zoo supporters as well as donors who have donated in the past who have shared their extreme frustration with the process. And we also uh, took the time to met multiple times and, and listen to the recommendation from the Kapilani Park Preservation Society. And I know that they oppose what we're doing today, but they did play a very key role in making this bill so much better. And so I do want to thank them for that. One interesting thing that was brought up in our first reading uh, of the bill in committee was a book was given to me by Barbara Amatron, and I thank you so much. Uh, and I started to read it as the testimony went on, and there was a letter from the president of the Kap Kapiolani Park Preservation Society that clearly stated, within the trust, the zoo is different and must be treated different the courts believe that it is an exhibit, and all the rights and privileges that go with that should be allowed. So that was key uh, to me that we need to move forward because even past presidents disagree with current presidents. So on behalf of all the animals at the zoo, and my little six-month-old, who I'd like to bring her there one day and not see a closed exhibit, I humbly ask all my fellow council members to support passage today. Thank you so much.